Tell us, you know, about what went on with that. You know what? Let's talk about that in a second. But you know what I want to do? We've got Kristen Michael here. He just walked up. So let's get him in here. Kristen, step on in here between us. First of all, congratulations. That's right. Turn that around so everybody can see. Congratulations on the big win. This was kind of your coming out party the way you ran tonight, especially after having some back spasms last week. Tell us about your week of practice. Tell us about this game out here tonight. Okay, well, I didn't practice Monday nor Tuesday, so I came back Wednesday, and I did a walkthrough with the guys Thursday. But I, mean, I was anxious to get back out there, you know, anxious to get me back with the team, you know, help contribute, you know, the football that I love to do, and I give all honor and praise to God, you know, for helping me get through this game uh, safely and healthy and for making us win. So it was blessing. So what were you seeing out there? Was it big holes by your offensive line, or was it just great running by you? No, it was there big holes by, by the offensive line, of course. Or we, we helped each other out. You know, I'm starting to get the flow with those guys, starting to trust those guys a lot more. And, you know, just trying to come out here and get better every day. You know, man, and, and, and just try to stay on, stay on this team. You know, it's, it's very hard to make this team. They have great players all over. I'm just trying to you know, find their spot. I know Gary has talked about this with some of the other players. This is a historic play, Slambo right. Field. This is really something to come here. Right. You guys didn't seem to let any of that bother you, including what happened last year before you were ever a Seahawk. Exactly. And, uh, and we are there. Coach wanted before. He said, man, it's to have awesome fans, have an awesome crowd. You know, they have great players on their team. They just come out here and keep our minds focused and, and play to a high level. You know, that's what we came out here and did. It's uh, getting a little bit dicey now for some players, certainly not for you, but for some players. How do you guys, you young players, deal with what's coming? The cuts start on Tuesday and then the final cuts uh, after that. It's, it's, a dev it's even this devastating thing about, you know, but man, we've been playing this game since we we're babies, some of us, man, and it's all we know. A lot of us, it's all we know, man, and, and I don't even like to think about it, but uh, we just have to come out here, man, and just do what we have to do. You know, stay on this team. It's like I said, it's a hard team to, you know, to make from our, from our end. I'm talking about from defense to offense to special teams. I mean, just come out here and, and know your plays. So you get you, put your head in your playbook, come out here and play your best. Three preseason games under your belt. What else do you have to do, do you think, to improve your play as you get ready to start the regular season? Just come out here, man, and play my ball. You know, play, play, play Seattle football, man. That's, like I said, at a high level. You know, and just, just be relentless out there, man. That's, that's what I'm learning from Marshawn. That's what I learned from Robert Turbin, you know, Russell Wilson, and some of those other guys. You know what I mean? Just come out here and give it all you can. You know, that's all you can do. By the way, they, I know they have a 12th man uh, down there at uh, a &M, but your first, uh, your first chance to appreciate the 12th man in Seattle was last week against Denver. What was that like for all you young guys? It was incredible. It was incredible, man. And, and, and I'm saying I couldn't play in that game and be a part of it, but, man, just looking at that crowd, man, it was amazing. And that's the, I feel that. I'm sorry to say this, but that's the real 12th man over there in Seattle, you know. And it was just great, man. It's just a great place to be. Christian, we appreciate it. Good luck. Stay well. Stay healthy. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Christian Michael. He is a terrific running back. He is a terrific young man. And you saw a couple of, uh, as we like to say, put your foot in the ground and turn up field. He did that today and ran away from some defenders. And those he couldn't run away from, he ran over. He's going to be fun to watch. Absolutely. And, you know, I, I told Stephen Williams, too. I've been in this place many, many times. It's hard to make this place totally hushed where you hear crickets. He did that. He so, did. so did Steven. But th th this has got to be a thrill for a rookie. I mean, you play pro ball, you know what that's like. But to hush a home crowd like this, where you don't, or you can't even hear anything, well, I mean, that's got to boost your confidence. Well, it does. And, it, and when you take control of a game, it's the one thing that Warren and I were talking about in the booth, especially on that last drive from about six and a half minutes on. All they need is a couple of first downs and they can wind this thing out. And that's the kind of continuity, the kind of consistency that Pete is looking for. All too often tonight, you started to mention penalties earlier. Too many drives were stopped because of penalties. I think mean, Seahawks had something like 14 penalties tonight. Now, in my humble estimation, I think some of them were pretty lousy calls. I can say that. The coach can't because he, he gets fined by the league. But I can say that. I think some of them were terrible calls. 